वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम एट पॉइंट फोर फोर सो स्टेटमेंट इज फोर्सिस आर अप्लाइड एट पॉइंट ए एंड बी ऑफ सॉलिड कॉस्ट आयरन ब्रैकेट शोन नोइंग दैट ब्रैकेट हैज अ डायमीटर ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट एट इंच डिटरमाइन द प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेस एंड मैक्सिमम शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस एट पॉइंट एच एंड एट पॉइंट के सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ सॉलिड कास्ट आयरन ब्रैकेट एट पॉइंट बी वी हैव अ लोड ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड पाउंड एंड एट पॉइंट ए वी हैव अ लोड ऑफ सिक्स हंड्रेड पाउंड सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेस एंड शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस एट पॉइंट एच एज वेल एज एट पॉइंट के सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट वी विल डू इज दैट वी विल फाइंड द शेयर फोर्स एंड मूमेंट्स एट सेक्शन कंटेनिंग एच सो आई विल राइट इट एट सेक्शन कंटेनिंग पॉइंट पॉइंट एच एंड के सो वट वी विल डू इज दैट वी विल कट दिस सेक्शन एट दिस पॉइंट एंड वी विल ड्रॉ फ्री बॉडी डाइग्राम सो लेट ड्रॉ इट फर्स्ट so if i draw the circle like this definitely you can see this will be the shaft let this is the center from center the axes are given you can note that let y axis is upward Similarly, x-axis in this direction and z-axis is outward. So these are the three axes that is also given over here. You can check x and z. Now you can see uh, we what we have to do is that this is your point H and this is your point K. Okay. so at point b we know that there is a load that is acting in z direction so we will represent it so first we will represent this load let this load is this one and this is 2500 pound so i have represent this load the second load that is represented over here so if you represent it over here so definitely you will represent this force and the moment that is produced due to this force so first we will represent this uh this force okay so this force is acting in negative y direction so i will represent them over here so this is the force 600 pound now due to uh, the load i will write also write here the load p is equal to 2500 that is 2500 pound that is in compression so this is your p load you can see this is in compression also vy vy is equal to minus 600 pound and this is your vy because this is shear force that is acting on this phase and that is in negative y direction vx is equal to 0 because there is no force acting in x direction so it will be 0 also you can check that mx moment that is produced about x axis is equal to Now the moment that is produced about this axis i will show you this is the load this is the load and this load is producing a perpendicular distance is this and this is producing a moment at this point that is counter clockwise and this moment m is equal to moment about x is equal to 600 into perpendicular distance is 3.5 minus this distance 1 so actually your perpendicular distance is this one so i will write moment about x is equal to 600 into perpendicular distance is 3.5 
minus 1. And when you calculate it, it will be 1500 pound into inch. We will also represent it since this is counterclockwise. So moment about x is equal to 1500 pound into inch. Now moment about z axis is equal to you can also check that due to this load due to this load and the perpendicular distance is this one it will cause it to rotate about z axis so this load and perpendicular distance is 2.5 will be moment about z axis and that is clockwise so minus 600 minus 600 into perpendicular distance is 2.5 inch that is equal to minus 1500 pound into inch and moment about x is equal to zero so you can see moment about this x is zero because you can see this force is also passing to this point and this force is also acting at this point so moment about um, y sorry moment about what not x this is moment about y there is no moment about y axis so it will be equal to zero so we can this diagram is force couple diagram for this uh, section at this section clear so we will move further in order to find the principal stresses at point h and K. Also, we know that uh, given that C is D diameter is given, so C is equal to D divided by 2 and diameter is given as uh, 0 0.8. So, 0 0.8 divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.4 inch. 0 0.4 inch area of this circular uh, bracket is equal to this is area area is equal to pi c square so you can put the value and you will get area is 0 0.5026 square inch also the moment of inertia i is equal to pi by 4 c 4 or circular shaft or bracket and if you put c is equal to 0 0.4 and take the power 4 multiply by pi divided by 4 and after calculation you will get it 20.106 into 10 to the power minus 3 inch 4 also we know that j which is polar moment of inertia is equal to two times i how in our previous problem two four point uh, uh, sorry eight point four three i have explained it's so you can go through that if you put the value of i in that so you will get j is equal to 40.212 into 10 to the power minus 3 inch 4 okay so for semicircle for semicircle we know that q is equal to which is the first moment of inertia is equal to 2 by 3 c cube and after the putting the value of c you will get it 42.667 into 10 to the power minus 3 inch cube okay so let's proceed further and we will find out the stresses at point H and point K. Okay. Now if just I copy it. And paste it downward so that we can continue it over here so you can see that 
at first at point at point h at point h you can see this is the point h so if i draw the front view of this shaft so this is your neutral axis this is your point h okay so at this point h this is your y axis okay so now at point h we have uh, bending stress that is you can see there is one stress that is compressive so normal stress will be equal to minus p because this is in compressor p by a plus this m into c divided by i why because you can see that uh, movement about uh, this axis x axis is also there okay one thing we have not written over here there will be a movement about point z that is represented as minus 1500 pound into inch so that there will be no no confusion later so this is minus 1500 pound into inch okay so at point h we have a compressive and due to this uh, uh, a load the, due to this bending moment of 1500 there will be a normal stress as well so you can put the value sigma h is equal to minus p which is minus 2 2500 divided by area which we have calculated as 0 0.5026 plus m is 1500 and c was 0 0.4 and i we have calculated was 20.106 into 10 to the power minus 3 okay so from here when you calculate it you would get the normal stress at point h comes out to be 24.87 into 10 to the power 3 psi now what will be the sh shear stress because you can see we have a shear force as that is acting on this face so that shear force t shear stress at th is equal to um, uh, you can see there is a shear stress th uh, is equal to shear stress due to shear force plus shearing stress that is due to uh, twisting torque so tau v is equal to zero because we know that tau v is equal to v into q divided by i into t so at point s point h is this point clear so area about this is equal to zero so q is equal to zero for this so it means that this to whole term will be equal to zero now tau of due to twisting this 1500 uh, pound into inch force is acting on this phase that caused to twist so sharing stress due to this t is equal to t into c divided by j so t is equal to 1500 clear into 0 0.4 divided by j which is equal to 40.212 into 10 to the power minus 3 so from here you will get this t of t is equal to 14.92 into 10 to the power 3 psi so shear stress at point h is equal to shear stress at point uh, due to shear and shear stress due to torsion so the first one is zero so th is equal to 14.92 nine two into ten to the power three psi now if you represent it on a element two dimensional element so let this is your element 
दिस इज यूअर शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस टॉ एच दिस इज यूअर टॉ एच एंड यू ऑल्सो नो दैट दिस सिग्मा एच इज दिस वन दैट इज इन दिस डायरेक्शन दिस इज यूअर सिग्मा एच so for that we will calculate principal stresses we know that principal stress is sigma 1 comma 2 is equal to sigma average plus minus r now what is sigma average sigma average is equal to sigma h divided by 2 sigma h is 24.87 24.87 divided by 2 and that will be equal to 12.43 ks i also r is equal to sigma h minus other stress that is not divided by 2 so sigma h divided by 2 whole square plus tau of h square under the root so just put the value this is 12.43 whole square plus tau of h is 14.92 KSI whole square. I have not written the ten to the power three because it is in KSI. So when you calculate this, R comes out to be nineteen point four two three KSI. Now your sigma one is equal to sigma average plus R. So sigma average is twelve point four three plus r is nineteen point four two three. So sigma one, which is maximum principal stress, comes out to be thirty one point nine ksi. And similarly, sigma two minimum will be equal to sigma average minus r. so you can put the value 12.43 minus 19.423 and that out comes out to be minus 6.99 ksi also sharing stress is equal to maximum sharing stress is equal to r and that uh in this condition the maximum stress you can see that uh okay in this condition this maximum stress is not equal to r so what we will do and how you will know so for that you have to draw the mohr circle let this is your x axis this is your y axis on y axis you have to take the shear force and on x axis you have to take the normal stress so if we plot uh sigma 1 and sigma 2 so sigma 1 and sigma 2 are principal stresses so let each division is 5 so 10 15 20 25 30 30 1 so sigma 1 will be this one and sigma 2 is minus 6 point so it will be somewhat here this is your sigma 2 so if you join if you draw a circle okay i'm going to draw it this is not a complete circle so you have to draw it okay it will just like this so this will be your this will be your maximum stress okay this will be your maximum stress that corresponding to this point this is your maximum stress and this maximum stress is equal to this is at the mid this is the center that is equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 2 divided by 2 so you can just put the value of sigma 1 is 3 point this and sigma 2 is this so your maximum sharing stress comes out to be 19.42 ksi So this was the answer of part first. Now we'll move toward part B, and in part B, it is given that at point K, at point K. 
वट इज द पॉइंट के सो पॉइंट के इज दिस पॉइंट दिस इज यूर पॉइंट के सो आई विल कॉपी इट यू हैव टू ड्रॉ इट ओवर देयर सो आई विल कॉपी इट कॉपी एंड वी विल पेस्ट इट ओवर हेयर नाउ यू कैन सी दैट स्ट्रेस एट पॉइंट के इज स्ट्रेस एट पॉइंट के इज यू कैन सी देर इज अ कंप्रेसिव स्ट्रेस दैट इज पी ओवर एरिया सो नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस एट पॉइंट के इज इक्वल टू पी ओवर ए पी इज नेगेटिव दैट इज कंप्रेसिव सो माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड डिवाइड बाई एरिया वा जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जीरो टू सिक्स सो इट कम्स आउट टू बी माइनस फोर पॉइंट नाइन सेवन फोर के एस आई ऑल्सो यू कैन नाउ चेक दैट एट दिस फेज दिस इज पॉइंट के सो देर इज अ शेयर फोर्स वी सो शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस एट पॉइंट के विल बी ड्यू टू शेयरिंग फोर्स वी वाई एंड ड्यू टू दिस टॉर्क ऑफ फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड देर विल बी अ शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस सो दैट शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस एट पॉइंट के इज इक्वल टू शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस ड्यू टू टॉर्जन प्लस शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस ड्यू टू शेयर फोर्स वी वाई सो यू हैव ऑल द वैल्यूज यू कैन पुट टार्क इज फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड मल्टीप्लाई बाई जीरो पॉइंट फोर डिवाइड बाई जे इज फोर्टी पॉइंट टू वन टू इंटू टेन एस टू पावर माइनस थ्री प्लस वी क्यू वी वाई वाज सिक्सटीन सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड क्यू वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड बिकॉज यू कैन सी नाउ दिस पॉइंट इज दिस एंड दिस इज यूर सेंट्रॉयडल एक्सिस आर दिस इज यूर सेंट्रॉयडल एक्सिस क्लियर सो दिस विल बी यूर पोर्शन एरिया एंड क्यू कम्स आउट टू बी क्यू फ्रॉम हेयर यू विल गेट दिस क्यू कम्स आउट टू बी दिस वन ओके सो क्यू इज जीरो पॉइंट फोर्टी टू पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स सेवन इन टू टेन एस पावर माइनस थ्री डिवाइड बाई आई इज ट्वेंटी पॉइंट वन जीरो सिक्स इन टू टेन एस पावर माइनस थ्री एंड थिकनेस इज डाई मीटर विच इज जीरो पॉइंट एट सो फ्राम हेयर यू विल गेट शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस एट पॉइंट के कम्स आउट टू बी सिक्सटीन पॉइंट फाइव वन टू के एस आई okay now you have these two values normal stress and sigma stress so you can calculate sigma 1 comma 2 is equal to sigma average plus minus r sigma average here is equal to sigma k over 2 and that is equal to minus 4.974 over 2 so sigma average is equal to minus 2.487 ksi also r is equal to sigma there is also okay so we have this minus sigma k over 2 whole square plus tau of x tau of k square under the root this is equal to r so you can just put the value r is equal to um, minus 2.487 because this is sigma k over 2 is this one which is this whole square plus tau of k which is 16.512 whole square under the root so when you calculate it you will get r is equal to 16.698 ks i okay now you have sig r and sigma average so sigma 1 which is the maximum principal stress is equal to sigma average plus r so minus 2.487 plus 16.96 it that will give you 14.21 ksi so 
so your sigma stress principal stress maximum is this one similarly sigma 2 minimum which is equal to sigma average minus r that is minus 2.487 minus 16.9698 will give you minus 19.18 ksi as sigma maximum is positive and sigma minimum is sigma 2 minimum is negative so your maximum sharing stress will be equal to half of sigma max minus sigma minimum i have explained it above and again i have uh, explained in detail all these theory lectures you can go uh, to my channel and you can watch the videos related to transformation of stresses the, these lectures are available in parts and you will check uh, in detail that how this for how how we can use the, the suitable formula related to this now you can put the value sigma max is equal to 14.21 minus minus 19.18 divide by 2 so you will get the maximum sharing stress comes out to be 16.70 ksi so this equation number this one two are the principal stresses at point k and this is the maximum sharing stress at point k i hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, these are very easy problems only you, ju you just need to have a, a clear understanding about these uh, stresses i hope you will find no difficulty in solving such type of problems uh, and again if you are new to my channel then subscribe it now and keep watching the videos thank you